Hey you, welcome to my channel. I'm Camille and I want to showcase my long hair for the last time because I have cut it. I also want to showcase what I've been doing to my hair to make it look this voluminous to me and more defined from the root area. So yeah, I'm just gonna say goodbye to this beautiful hair that is partially split ends and fairy knots. And of course, enjoy this beautiful pink flowers. They used to be red, but now they're pink. I changed it out. Let's start off with a smile and a showcase of my teeth that is chipping. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good because I'm gonna turn into my grandma before I'm 40, I think. Anywho, let's remove the shirt, unclip the, the hair clip, and start off with my tail in the back so I can prevent tangles. And it's gonna be very routine. We always need a spray bottle whenever we start a new section, but not spray you, of course. You, you won't get wet like I will. Then we bring out the leave-in conditioner to prepare my hair. It does have a little bit of protein and I was told that I'm a medium porosity, so I'm not low anymore, I'm medium. So that's cool. And I always dry my hands off because working with cream and then having to use a brush that doesn't have a grip to it, it's gonna slip out of my hand. So that's why I was wiping the remainder leave-in conditioner onto my towel. Then of course, as you can see, I'm braiding my braid not so tight, but not so loose. And then curl the end and then scrunch it up so I can have that good defined curl. Very Shirley Temple curl that I will showcase right here. Yes. Then now I'm going to do the next section just behind the ear and across to the other side. And uh, of course have a little bit of some struggle because I, am I dealt with fairy knots and split ends so as routine we need water we need the conditioner and then we need to saturate that before we start detangling once i'm satisfied with detangling there's always a chance of a knot happening and that's when i use my fingers my nails to detangle that before continuing and then scrunch 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 Make sure you have that swishy wishy I don't know, that squishy sound, but I'm using the gel. This Miss Jessie Jelly Soft Curls, which does make my soft curls soft. I wasn't expecting that. And just use a good amount for that section. Um, go about applying it. I try to do the prey hands, but it's not always what happens. So I just make sure it is completely covered. And of course you need to hear that sound with every section you have to ensure that it's completely saturated. Now this is the new trick. We use a comb to separate the curls and the clumped, clumped up curls from being buddy buddy with everything else and not just make themselves their own. So that's the main difference I've done, as well as brushing it backwards and all that jazz. But is it a bit difficult to do that? So I'm bringing the what's already been done to the front and starting off by going above the ear all the way across so that I'm not doing multiple seven sections. And they're pretty decent, they're not as big. Some are big, some are small, depending on how I separate the hair, but this is what I do. Just the whole water, the leave-in conditioner, detangle. Once I'm done, add a little bit more water if necessary for the section. Detangle, put it in the back and brush backwards. Always have any extra just let it fall into the shower because it'll just be washed off from the water. And then of course, scrunch and use the comb to separate the curls. And that's it. 
and you start again. Now, I still want it to go backwards so there's no separation or knowledge that, that I did my hair differently. But I'm looking for a definition and volume these days, both together, not separate. So this, it, I just do a little parting section right in the middle so that the top one can then be separated into two parts. So, so you can see, very frizzy. And that can mean split ends and fairy knots, which I think they are. Because that's the only section that's a bit on the dry side. So of course, you see what I do? I use water, the leave-in conditioner. I detangle and that's a lot of excess leave-in conditioner that is going into the tub and whatever's left on my hands just goes back into the, the hair section and a little bit closer to the root area. And then I wipe my hands a little bit and proceed to the next move of bringing the brush to detangle backwards and upwards so that there's there the curls are lifted from the roots and then of course add the gel to lock in that leave-in conditioner and hopefully get some soft definition and of course scrunch it's the best part now we're getting closer to the front and I'm getting a little tired from doing my hair so it's it's a bit of a struggle to try to separate it because it just is now when I'm satisfied with this I put that section I'm gonna do to the side and work on the section I'm gonna do last but I can't put it back in a clip because that's gonna be in the way so I'm just gonna do a twist on that section but not fully all the way down to the the ends because I'm gonna undo it I just need it out of my face and away so that I can spritz my hair to my desired wetness and add the conditioner but I also don't want to make it too wet because I feel like I lose a lot of the leaving conditioner because it's all watered down from the amount of water that is in the hair that I feel like the leaving conditioner cream does not saturate or cover each strand the way I would like it to so I kind of don't want to make it too wet because there's already water in the cream to add to the hair you understand let me take a breath and proceed to brushing backwards as always there's always a chance with hair like this that it's not gonna get everywhere so I keep brushing until I don't hear any of those knots trying to get detangled or being brushed out. I want it to be nice and smooth, no need for it to struggle. So yeah, that's what happens. Bring out the hair cream after adjusting the camera for you and then all of a sudden it falls because I positioned it wrong and yep I am still holding my hair up <laughs> while this little catastrophe was happening disaster until I got it the way I wanted it to and adjusted it and now I'm done let's move on to the front which is a bit different and a bit of a bad thing I want to say is because I'm starting to get acne on my forehead from having my hair forward as I spritz it with water, adding the conditioner to it, and then detangling. It's here I thought it was due to my retinol and glycolic duo, but I think it could just be this that's irritating my forehead skin. Yeah, so I like to thoroughly what do you call it? Do well with the front section because a lot of majority of the people I am encountered with will see that first. So this is the main course. And I forgot to show you the gel I've been using from Innersense. This has a hole to it. Very nice. 
all that jazz. So I tend to use one to two pumps or maybe even not even a full pump, depending on the section I am using because I don't wanna waste too much gel and then have to apply it to another section that's already been saturated with it, you understand? So that's what I'm doing and that's what I've been doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I was using that gel because I ran out of the Miss Jessie gel. So, I forgot. But normally I would use that gel until I, until I remembered I had the Miss Jessie one to try to use up. But yeah, so the first section only got the inner sense while the rest had Miss Jessie jelly soft curls to them. I'm gonna add a little bit more, a tiny bit, so that I can lay down the front area because it tends to get frizzy at night and I just want it to look clean when I wake up, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Anywho, that's it. Oh, of course, this is a hair that was in my brush before I threw it away. And yeah, I also wanted to show you what a split end looks like. This may look like any other regular hair, but it's not. I'm trying to showcase it to you. See, there's one split end, there's two, and a little bit of a three. I'm sure there was three when I saw it before I recorded it, but there's enough to want to cut your hair so that I can get rid of that despicable hair. But the nice cool thing is that I wasn't eat, losing too much hair during this wash day. Yeah, but still, there was a split end. Now, I forgot to show you what I do before I go to bed. I need volume in the top, so I clip it just like that. Now that is it. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. And as always, embrace joy. Mm -hmm.